Canine Helm Gear. It all started with Trident, the world's first working dog helmet. It was created for dogs doing the most dangerous work. The helmet addressed all the specific needs of a canine's cranial anatomy. It provided protection for vulnerable areas such as the zygomatic arch, mandibular joint, occipital region, as well as the eyes. At the same time, the design allowed for full bite capability and ear movement, the most essential things for a dog. Oh, and don't forget about the clever retention system that keeps the device on the dog's head without hindering its ability to breathe. All fasteners were individually adjustable. Overall, animals could feel comfortable in the Trident helmet while remaining securely protected. However, Trident was conceived as a prototype, and now in March 2023, its successor, the CS1 Goggle Hood helmet, is expected to go into mass production. Nomad Ballistic Body What else do military dogs need besides a helmet? A ballistic vest. It was designed for modular use to provide protection for vital organs from gunfire. Besides protecting from bullets, these vests also ensure excellent protection against stabbings, blunt force trauma, and even explosives. Another feature of the newest bulletproof vests is that they are designed for long-term wear. Dogs can comfortably wear them for hours without overheating or losing range of movement or speed. Moreover, many of these tactical vests have cooling and moisture wicking properties. This particular vest is made of 1000D Cordura nylon and a packed cloth lining underneath for easy cleaning and removal of hair. Velcro and heavy-duty plastic buckles provide a secure fit on both a small Belgian Malinois and a large Shepherd. A camera mount patch or dog ID pouch can be attached to the top of the vest. Jump Bag Dogs can not only be active in a combat zone, risking their lives, but also parachute into action. They need special equipment for that, and it actually exists. Recon K9 teamed up with Capewell Aerial Systems, a leading manufacturer of equipment for military and sport parachutists, to create a special dog jump bag. Yes, while parachuting, the animal stays in the bag, comfortable, ergonomic, and safe for both dog and human. The body of the bag features a soft lining and drainage ports. The material is airtight, which makes jumping more comfortable for the animal. Other distinct features include the fully adjustable chest straps for load balancing. Savota Camouflage Want to hide your horse in winter? Well, turns out that's not such a weird wish after all. Savota has a solution, and for Finland's Independence Day, they've posted these images online. Savota's been making outdoors, hunting, and tactical gear since 1955. True, the Finnish M05 snow camouflage suit worn by a horse named Matty is not a mass-produced item, but a custom piece. Well, you can actually find a video online of the summer camouflage suit from the same company, also worn by a horse. Both horse camouflage suits are similar to human camouflage. At first glance, it doesn't seem to be very useful. But look at what a man in such a suit looks like in the middle of a snowy forest. If you sit still, no one will see you, even at close range. In fact, the use of horses in war is quite common even today. But while horses used to be the only possible means of transportation in the old days, they're now used in areas where no mechanical vehicle can go. For example, the Chilean army still has four horse units whose soldiers patrol the mountain passes. Horses can travel along the narrow paths between the rocks where it's simply impossible to get by car. Actually, Chile is not the only country where you can find cavalry. It's said that China uses mounted soldiers to protect the territories of the Inner Mongolian Autonomous Region. Riot Eye Shield what looks like sunglasses for a horse is actually a special visor made of 0.12-inch polycarbonate. The mounted police use it to protect the horse's eyes and face during riots. Such a device protects against tossed objects, blows, explosives. Overall, it protects the horse's eyes from any dangers. The protective plastic is stitched to the leather and foam part, which can be secured with leather straps and metal hooks. Although it comes in one size only, the protective equipment can be adjusted to fit your animal using the straps. The equipment weighs about 1.8 pounds, so the horse will hardly feel it. The dimensions of the protective visor are 8 by 22 inches.
full body sheet. Of course, it's not just the horse's face that requires protection, which is why we have special blankets. They also protect the animal from tossed objects and blows during mass riots. The blanket also provides good protection from slashing and burning, but remains lightweight and flexible enough not to restrict the horse's mobility. The length of the horse blanket is about 75 inches, and just like face protecting equipment, it's adjusted by five straps 0.2 inches wide each. Three of the straps are under the horse and two are on the chest area. There are 36 high-density polyethylene protectors on the blanket itself. The size of each element is 6 by 5 inches. Tactical Harness As mentioned earlier, the armies of some countries still use horses for combat missions. Sometimes mules are used instead of horses, and all of these animals mainly serve to carry supplies, weapons, and equipment over rough terrain. While the U.S. Marines, for example, are still testing various robots for moving through difficult mountainous terrain, German experts have been relying on traditional and time-tested animal helpers for years. Each mule can carry more than 132 pounds of load, including, for example, a mortar or ammunition. It can cover up to 19 miles without rest. Of course, such missions require a special harness. A carrying frame is attached to an improvised saddle, where you can mount a variety of boxes, baskets, and bags. Additional straps placed in front and behind the animal prevent the cargo from slipping in the mountains. Although it's believed that a mule can carry 264 pounds tops, the load should be reduced depending on the difficulty of the mountain trail and the condition of the animal. Canine Mask Back to dogs. These animals have been living side by side with humans for so long that we've even come up with special air filter masks for them. And not just for the dogs involved in military actions. The mask is designed for dogs to protect them from air pollution, wildfire smoke, and other harmful particles. The mask fits over the dog's snout, covering its nose and mouth. Canine Mask is made of breathable, washable materials that allow the dog to breathe comfortably. Naturally, since there are gas masks for regular dogs, there are more advanced ones which are designed for military dogs. The use of gas masks for military dogs dates back to World War I. At that time, chemical weapons were often used in the trenches, and soldiers were not the only ones affected. At the time, military dogs were used for a variety of purposes, including sentry duty, messenger service, and reconnaissance, and they were vulnerable to the same chemicals as their owners. To keep the animals safe, special gas masks were designed, these masks covered the dog's nose and mouth, providing protection from the toxic gas. The use of gas masks for military dogs continues to this day. These animals remain an important part of military operations in various conflicts around the world. Even Fallout 4 has a special mod that adds a gas mask for a dog. And let's face it, it looks pretty cool. Rim of the Pacific The fact that dolphins are used by the armies of some countries will hardly surprise anyone. Usually, dolphins are trained to locate sea mines and mark them for subsequent disposal. And some dolphins do it in less than a minute. All because dolphins are not only natural swimmers, but also very smart, and therefore can find mines much faster than people. Although the Navy can equip dolphins with cameras and sensors, it's their natural abilities that make them perfect for this job. Unlike the mechanical devices humans build to detect mines, dolphins can tell artificial objects from natural ones. So after detecting a mine, a dolphin swims up to the boat to poke some object, such as a ball, with its nose. People then give the dolphin a buoy or a special device known as an acoustic transponder, which the animal leaves in the area where it detected the mine. This device produces a distinct sound that allows divers to find it later. Rat Pack Natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes can level entire cities, and finding survivors is a painstaking job for search and rescue teams. And that's where the Gambian Pouch Rats come to the rescue. A project conceived by Apopo, a Belgian nonprofit organization, involves equipping the rodents with tiny high-tech backpacks 
to help first responders search for survivors. And it's actually a pretty reasonable choice of an animal. Rats are usually curious and love exploring. Also, they're small, which means they can get to places a human would never reach. But don't think of them as lab rats participating in various creepy experiments. The rat's well-being is a priority for a popo. The rodents undergo 15-minute training sessions five days a week and live alone or with siblings in cages where they also live out their days when they get old. Enjoying a diet of fresh fruits and vegetables, the rats also get to play daily in a custom-built playroom. Actually, not every company provides working conditions like that for its employees. Dog Life Jacket Naturally, when you speak of animals that help people, you have to mention lifeguard dogs that pull drowning people out of the water. Even though dogs are great at swimming, they still need extra support. Basically, these life jackets all work pretty much the same way. They don't constrain the animal's mobility, allowing dogs to move their legs freely and increase buoyancy. The life jackets are made of a breathable material through which water can flow. That's pretty much what you need for the safety of your dog, right? Paw protection. Another problem that military dogs face is temperature. In summer, it can get so hot that the animal can't even stand on the ground properly. Well, you can see how uncomfortable or even dangerous it is for a dog. That's why some units use special boots. Their soles are similar to those of human boots, and they protect the soft padding of a dog's paw. This way, the paws will definitely not get hurt on rough terrain or when it's hot outside. Also, protecting the paws from the desert ground is vital to the success of the mission. If dogs become more focused on the pain caused by the hot ground, it can distract them from their objective at hand. And yes, the dog booties look incredibly cute. Eagle Cameras Ever since people started using drones in warfare, the military started looking for ways to counter them. Unexpectedly, the solution was to use birds. Trained eagles and falcons take down drones and could also act sort of like drones thanks to the cameras attached to their heads. Although the cameras are currently small and can't relay a live feed, the idea is to gradually increase their capacity as the birds continue their training. Also, these birds are territorial, meaning they'll circle the area where they were released. 